What's going on guys, Dalton here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I just wanted to give a quick rundown on how I ship shoes that come in their original box using free boxes from USPS's website. Now before we jump into it, a couple things that I wanna mention. This only works if you're selling on platforms like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, basically anywhere that you get labels and ship through USPS. So websites like StockX or Goat, if they send you labels that um, are for U sorry, UPS or FedEx, this method will not work because like I said, these boxes are free and the way that works is USPS factors them into the pricing for their shipping services. So because of that, you can only use it through their service. So the box I'm using is from USPS's website. I'll throw a link down in the description where you can grab them yourself. Again, they're completely free. They're called Priority Mail 1095 boxes. Um, so you can go ahead and pick up as many as you want down there and they'll deliver them right to your door. But the one caveat is they don't fit the shoe box in there. You can see they're a little too slim the way they come. So we gotta do a little bit of modifications to them. So it's really simple. When you're looking at the box when it's laying flat, you're gonna see one side that's got two red lines running down it and one side that's only got one. It's same on both sides. There's two lines on this side, one line on this side. You'll just wanna lay the box flat on your table, take your shoe box, and lay it this way on the side where the two lines are and line it up with the edge of your box. Grab a knife, a pair of scissors, something, and don't cut all the way through the box. Just score the side of it enough that we can create a perforation so we can fold on that line. So I'm gonna go ahead and run, the, run this knife down the side. You'll need to move this box down for the rest of the way. And then we'll flip it over and we'll do the exact same thing on this side where the two lines are here. And then after you do that, you should be able to fold the box in on those cuts that you just made. And then the only thing you gotta do from here is cut along the side where the, uh, the flap doesn't fold. So you can fold the flap shut need to do that on both sides so that way you can create the flaps here so we'll take this and we'll go ahead and tape this side down and then same thing we done on the other side we need to cut this so we can create flaps on this side as well And then once you do that, the box should be able to fit right inside of there and you can close it up and tape it just like that. Only other thing that I normally do is I pack it with some packing paper so the box isn't sliding all around in there. And then the last step after that's completely taped up is the edges that you created those cuts. I just like to take a piece of tape and, um, and cover up where we made that cut just to give it a little bit more reinforcement so the box doesn't come apart in shipping. Do that on both sides and then you're all good to go. Now, one last tip for this video, you can use this exact same modified box to ship, say boots or some larger size sneakers that won't fit in your traditional priority mail shoe box. Instead of using the actual shoe box to cut along those two lines, you can just put one of these shoe boxes together, put it on the double line and then draw your perforation on that side. And then this box is gonna be big enough to fit a lot of your boots or larger sized sneakers as well. So again, just to, just to run over everything we mentioned in this video, this only works if you're shipping through USPS. You can get these boxes for free on their website. Again, there's a link down in the description below. If you wanna see a complete video on how I ship all shoes, I did a much longer, more in-depth video. I'll link to that up in the top of this video here, so you can go check that out if you're interested. But that wraps up everything for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see shoe reselling content or anything of that nature, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a future video. But that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching, guys.